Our next guest today is Dr. Kevin Price. Welcome to the show today, Dr. Price. Thanks for having me, June. It's a pleasure to have you back. Now, I know you were on our show quite a while ago. Yeah, it's been a few years. Um, but today you've got some great news for us. So, But before we get into that, I wanted to ask you to remind our viewers to talk a little bit about your background and your education. Sure. Uh, well, I'm 40 years old now. I've actually been in, in North Carolina for about seven years. I uh, went to med school at Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. Mm -hmm. And from there I moved to Rhode Island where I did my residency at uh, a community hospital there. Mm -hmm. uh, and after that, shortly thereafter, I moved to North Carolina. And I've been in Wilmington ever since for the last seven years with my wife and my two children. Well, great. And I know you love it here. We do. We love it. And you love the water. We love it. We're getting better every year. Yeah. It's a great place to live. It is. Everybody agrees. When I have guests on my show, they all agree how wonderful it is to live in Brunswick County. The people are phenomenal and the weather is great. It's so, fantastic. Yeah, it absolutely is. So I understand that you recently joined Novant Health um, Oceanside Family Medicine and Convenient Care. So tell me a little bit more about that. I did. As of June 2nd, I'll be joining that group. Uh, I'll be joining a group of four doctors, uh, Dr. Chris Reisenhower, Dr. Clark Pritz, uh, Dr. Angela Thompson, and Dr. Rob Adron is also there as well. Uh, and I'll be an internal medicine doctor there in their convenient care. Um, and I'll be practicing internal medicine, adult medicine. Uh -huh. So looking forward to that. Yeah. Well, um now, um, I know that's a family practice that you're joining, but you are internal medicine. Is that correct? That's you're, right. That's mm -hmm. right. But yeah. I think I'm going to integrate well, given that sure there's a lot of uh, folks who are uh, adults and needing adult care medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel that given the population that's growing here, right. there'll be a need for that as well. Hopefully I can fill that. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure. Now, I know the, the last time we had you on the show, you were in the hospitalist program at Brunswick Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm curious, what was the decision? How did you make that decision to transfer back into um, private practice? It's a great question. I love being a hospitalist, and mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed the last several years doing that. But among other things, one of the things I missed is that continuity of care with patients, getting to know the patients. Uh, you know, I think we did a... We, we did, and we continue to do a great job of getting people well. Mm -hmm. uh, but I miss seeing those familiar faces over and again and, and getting to know people and helping them achieve their health goals. And so that's one of the things I'm looking forward to getting back into. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Um, I think you'll be very happy at that practice. That's a wonderful practice, and uh, it's quite a busy practice. So yeah, there are several great practitioners there. I'm looking forward to are. working with them all. And, and several of um, nurse practitioners and um, PAs uh, in that practice also. So it's, it's a great, great mix. Now, I know you told us who your partners um, were, were, are, and, um, and it is a family practice, but, um, and, and you're an internal medicine specialist. So tell us a little bit about what the difference is between family practice and internal medicine. Well, family practice, uh, well, first I'll say how they're similar in that there was broad-based sure. training. Uh, but the difference is with family practice, they uh, focus also on uh, children's Children? health, pediatrics, mm -hmm. and also, uh, at, at times, uh, prenatal care, where I'll be focusing more on adult care medicine. And uh, I, th I suspect that I'll be seeing some of the patients that you know, have somewhat more complex uh, you know, medical issues going on, and hopefully I can help in that regard. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Price, I know that you've been in practice for about 20 years. And um, I assume that you have a particular focus or a special interest that, um, that you'd like to share with us? Absolutely. You know, when people go to the doctor, they're trying to achieve two things. Number one, we're all trying to live longer and feel better. Right. Uh, now, what I want to focus on, first and foremost, is help people live longer and through prevention of cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. preventing strokes, heart attacks, and diabetes. Mm -hmm. So I want to focus on that uh, and help the uh, epidemic of diabetes that we're having. Yeah, diabetes is a very, um, um, it's a big problem here in Brunswick County. I know through the community wellness initiative that we have where we go out to various civic groups and entities and um, we test them. And it's amazing the people who are diabetic and don't know. You know, we, we've discovered many. We're fortunate that our office has a diabetic educator and a nutritionist, so we're able to help people on, uh, on healthy eating choices as mm -hmm. well as promoting healthy lifestyles. 
So they'll be helping me with uh, promoting those endeavors. Oh, that's great. So you have um, a diabetes educator or a diabetes management um, nurse, and um, that will help uh, the patients deal with some of the issues that arise with when they have diabetes? Absolutely. They'll help me uh, keep a closer tab of people's blood sugars, uh, compliance with their medication, and eating habits. And she's there in your office? Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. And so folks could make an appointment with her too when they call in. They could ask to have an appointment with a diabetes management specialist. Absolutely. Yeah. Those, that would be good for folks out there who already have diabetes and know it. They could still utilize her services. Is that correct? Absolutely. Now, I know they have that convenient care um, component there, and will you be working in the convenient care? At times, I will be. Uh, I'll be seeing my panel of patients uh, for their chronic conditions and follow-ups, new patients and the like. Mm -hmm. But I will be helping uh, with the convenient care. We've got uh, working seven days a week. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of uh, yeah, accessibility, and we're happy about that. We're open on Saturdays and Sundays as well. Uh, and with that accessibility, we're promoting uh, MyChart, which is an online-based uh, internet uh, accessibility to your patient records. Mm -hmm. And we can use that to uh, communicate with patients within 24 hours. Patients are able to communicate directly with the physician mm -hmm. or their practitioner. And we're able to uh, address their concerns via the internet uh, if, if somebody wanted to use that route. And, we're quite happy with that and trying to promote that. I love that uh, that piece. I think that um, my chart is the way to go. I, you have such uh, patients can access their records, their uh, labs, sometimes sooner than probably uh, the practitioner does. Uh, it's just a, a great thing. And I love the ability that you can communicate directly to your practitioner. You can email and then you would respond, and I just think that's, that's absolutely. A wonderful you know, we're thing. trying to use the technology that's available sure. to make the, you know, to uh, get the accessibility to the physicians more easily to the patients. So mm -hmm. I'm quite certain that will be helpful. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Price, if uh, we have viewers out there who would like to schedule an appointment, and um, and I know you're accepting new patients, so how might they do that? We're open seven days a week, and call our office at seven five four 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 one. Right, and they would just ask to speak or ask to make an appointment with you or any other provider who's there. Is that correct? We're proud that if you call our office seven days a week, you will always get a person on the other really? line. Really? And you can ask to schedule an appointment with one of the providers or myself. That is a big plus. I love when people answer the phone. Absolutely. Yeah, and so I think that's very important in that practice that you always get a person. We're proud of that. You should be. Mm -hmm. You should be. Well, again, it was a pleasure to have you here today, and I hope that you'll come back and uh, let us know what's going on and how you're doing there and, and um, anything that you would like to add to the uh, today's show. Well, thanks show. for having me, sure. and we'll be back soon.